Joe. And I'm Steve-O. And, and we've made, made it our mission to blow this, this town wide open. open. Proving that Albuquerque not only has cool people doing awesome things, but that you can be a part of it too. And let's face it, you rock, Albuquerque. Hey, what's up, Albuquerque? I'm Joey. Steve-O. We are here at the South Broadway Cultural Center, nice. which is, you'll never guess, South Broadway. What? And it's a cultural center. We are here for the Albuquerque Slam Poet Laureate competition. Bam! Is, um, exactly. It's awesome. It's very, very cool. And if you don't know anything about slam poetry, we're about to get schooled. That's we're right. going to talk to a couple guys that are going to fill us in. And um, we might even step into the game ourselves. Ooh. What? Watch out, Albuquerque. Albuquerque, New Mexico, you need to go to abqslams.org. Yeah, are you competing tonight? I'm competing one week from tonight in the second prelim round. Tonight's the first of two different preliminary bouts. And he or she will actually be given a uh, laureate tasks to do. You know, like a state poet laureate, they're often um, tasked with appearing at schools. Okay, they're yeah, yeah. doing that sort of thing. <laughs> it's a really cool. Um, it's a really cool. I would imagine since it's a pioneering effort, it is a very cool, prestigious honor. It is. To be, it is. Um, in this Albuquerque is, and be the Albuquerque Slam Poet. Albuquerque laureate. is going to be. It's. It's basically. It is a history-making moment because no other state has produced this. A lot of states have done things where they've tried to blend together the slam poets with the academic poets. Okay. The men and women, they kind of get up to the podium and they go, <clears throat> here's yeah. a poem. They don't really socialize so much with the competing poets. They like to drink a lot of beer and a lot of coffee and go gotcha. crazy. So I don't have like any like uh, poetic skills. So I'm, I brought Levi here to kind of give me some pointers now. And I'm going to give it a shot. So Steve-O thinks he's written some kind of masterpiece. What runs with Shatner? <laughs> Hey, 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 not allowed to see this. All right, Levi, yo, I'm a little, here, you tell me if this is good. Did you wipe yet? <laughs> oh, I might wipe with this. Okay. Yeah, I don't like For a good time call. You are, like, you are like dumbing yourself the more you talk. Uh, I got this way. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Do you think people will take me seriously if you say things like, in, in my pants? <laughs> Nemesis. She's the black on my Sabbath. She's the fix to my habit. Yes! 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 She's the She's the black Sabbath. I'll give you proper writing credit whenever the album comes. So, okay. All right. You see, I wrote this poem myself this morning. Okay. And there's a line in there that I need the crowd to shout back to me. Oh, like a call and response. There you go. Portion. Okay. Now, how do I do that? Well, that depends on the context of your poem. Well, if you're keeping it secret. <laughs> um. Well, just make it very obvious. I do workshops sometimes with like third graders, and so I will over exaggerate my gesticulations. So know that you're really waiting and pausing with this pregnant pause. So that they can respond. If you okay. lead them, they'll do it. You know. What we're going to do is we have um, actually a couple of sacrificial poets here tonight. They're going to help us out and use this poetry for us. We're going to get it so on the stage to make way for the rest of the poets. <laughs> 